Today we are going to relate multiplication and division. Here's a multiplication problem. We're going to review each of the parts of this multiplication sentence really quickly as a review. First of all, our 3 is a factor, and also our 4 is a factor. So any number we multiply together in a multiplication sentence is a factor. And then the answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. So those are the parts of a multiplication problem or multiplication sentence. Two factors, the answer is a product. For division, here are the different parts. The first number in our division problem is called the dividend. It's the total amount of things you have. Then we have our divisor. It's how many groups you're going to put each of these things into. And then the answer to a division problem is called the quotient. So that's how many each group gets from the dividend. So if we have 12 things total, we divide them between three people or three groups, each of those would get four, which is the answer, our quotient. Now that we've reviewed the different parts of multiplication and division problems, we have one vocabulary word, and that is fact family. I guess it's vocabulary words, since there's two, although it's all part of the same thing. A fact family is a set of four related multiplication and division facts that use the same three numbers. If you need to pause it, go ahead until you have that written down. So four related multiplication and division facts that use the same three numbers. For example, here are three numbers, four, six, and 24. So I'm going to write the fact family for this set of numbers. And I need four problems, two multiplication, two division, that use these three numbers. So I can start with the four and the six. I can multiply those. Four times six equals 24. Then I can flip that four and the six around and do six times four equals 24. So those are my two multiplication facts. Now I need division. So we're going to have 20 start out backwards from those. Instead of getting a product of 24, we're going to start with our 24 as our dividend. So 24 divided by 6 equals 4. And I can also start with 24 and divide by 4 to get 6. Notice these division facts are the opposite of our multiplication facts. So on the top it goes 4, then 6, then 24. And on the division side it goes 24, then 6, then 4. They're just completely backwards. We call these inverse operations. Here's the second example. Same instructions. This time I'm using 6, 8, and 48. So I start with 6 times 8 equals 48. 8 times 6 equals 48. And then my division, 48 divided by 8 equals 6. And 48 divided by 6 equals 8. So if you know your multiplication facts, and you write them down into a multiplication sentence, you know your division because it's just inverse. Now that I've shown you two, I want you to try the next two on your own, and then we'll check and see if you're getting it. Here's your first practice problem. So write the fact family for two, five, and ten. Pause it. When you have your four, unpause it, and we'll check them. You should have 2 times 5 equals 10. 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 
and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Here's your second practice problem. Write the fact family for 4, 8, and 32. Go ahead and pause. Okay, the answer is 4 times 8 equals 32. 8 times 4 equals 32. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. And 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Okay, if you're feeling good about that, there's four more problems that you'll bring and show me tomorrow in class. Here they are. So, the instructions are to write the fact family for each set of numbers, and you have four problems. Problem number one, write a fact family for 3, 5, and 15. Problem two, write a fact family for 4, 6, and 24. Number three, write a fact family for 2, 8, and 16. And your last problem, write the fact family for 6, 9, and 54. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful night.